should be done to ensure we always have count yes I, I i do agree that something should always be done um count is something that's essential tourists come here every day they want a taste of the island not only do we have sun sand and sea we have people we have things like count come on just so we can like to conserve our coral reef we need to conserve things like the count and the group or even our crab we need to make sure that we have them for generations to come I think something should be done to ensure we always have conk, um, we always have conk in the future? Definitely, conk is a part of our culture. It's one of those things that represents, you know, Bahamian food. And it should be year round because we have tourists year round. Do you think something should be done to ensure that we always have conk? Yes, absolutely. I do, I really do. I think that we should take measurements and put tasks in place to make sure that we preserve them as best as possible for future generations. What do you think should be done? Well, that's really a tough question. Um, even even places like Turks and Caicos, um, you know, they have they have the different farms to conserve certain certain wildlife. It, it's an investment that you cannot you cannot just take in for one year and see a profit. Um, it's something that needs to be done long term. So whether it's the government that takes it on, us as the people, the trust, or any other organization, um, I think things like that should be done to ensure that we have these things for generations to come. What do you think should be done? I think we should have maybe a certain amount of conk that we allow per year. Either that or a specific period each year where we don't have to catch any conk. You just let them uh, reproduce. What do you think should be done? I just believe that um, we shouldn't overfish the waters. I believe that um, not only overfishing, we got to put laws and regulations to ensure that that's the most important thing, that poachers, you know, don't take, all, take away all of our gum. What do you think should be done? I think that we should definitely do a conking season. Absolutely. We need to put in a fishing season. What do you think should be done? I don't know that much about their preservation, but I think they should be preserved. <laughs> well, I, I think it should be like season. You know what I mean? Like they should have seasons that you can from the ocean for the conch, but you know how it is, conch is right now is a part of uh, like culture like junk food. And then, you know, everybody comes to salad every day, every day, but and then it's, it, it helps the economy also because you have a lot of people who, who, who depend on making money from conch. So uh, you can't really say, I mean, like it wouldn't be right to say put a ban on it for a certain time or whatever, but it should be monitored, you know, to make sure that, you know, a certain amount of conch is whatever, right now. Um, there should be a ban similar to the one that we have on the lobster season. That should be put on the count season to preserve it for future generation. I think they should just keep it coming. Okay. I think it's, they should just keep it coming. I love it. They just should keep it coming. Keep the ocean clean. Keep it running. Right. So, if that's the case, I can't see in the future there's going to be a shortage, but if there is a shortage, then if there comes a point where there's going to be a shortage, then I believe that they should, they should seasonalize the conquest. See, like, I like that. Uh, I have season, I season for the conquest. Okay. 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 And what do you think the Bahamas would be like without Kong? Wow. Uh, whoo! That's a tough. Wow. Without Kong. Well, I can tell you, as a man that almost eats Kong every day, without Kong, I can't even call myself a Bahamian anymore. <laughs> but, um, Conservation is a big thing. I'm glad everyone's out here to, you know, help out with the conservation effort. And uh, for generations to come, hopefully my kids will be doing the same. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, what do you think the Bahamas will be like without conch? 
Right. Piece of the Bahamas will definitely be missing part of its culture. We we need to come. That's that's who, that's part of us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, what do you think the Bahamas will be like without Kong? Oh my, I I think it'd be dreadful for us to be conkless. Not good. All right. Thank you very much. Um, what do you think the Bahamas will be like without Kong? I can't imagine it without Kong. I cannot imagine my life without Kong at all. Um, without the bah without Kong in the Bahamas, we have no Bahamas. All right, one more question. Um, what do you think the Bahamas will be like without Kong? Not as awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. One last, one last question. What, will, what do you think the Bahamas will be like without Kong? Wow. Yeah. I mean, in a way, to me, I feel that um, the Bahamas will be like, we'll be like lost because we're so used to it. it it's, you know, it's, it's our way of life. It's, you know, Wow, I can't even imagine that right now. Because, <laughs> wow, that's like how you um, ban the flamingos and you can't know. And the turtles know. So, wow, even if you no know, something like that happened, woo, you'll go other places in the world just to try to find that conch to bring it back. So, <laughs> what will the Bahamas be like without conch? What do you think? Oh my goodness, we would be, if that's a part of our, of who we are, we would be, we would, something would be missing, literally, and I really hope it, that we, we never reach that point. Thank you very much. Oh, loss, 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 loss. Right. <laughs> Count and fish. We would become extinct. The Bahamas would become extinct. We need our count. We need our fish. So please, authorities, put a ban on the count. If it's only for three months or however long. Thank you very much. Um, what will the Bahamas be like without count? What do you think? Oh God, I don't. I don't want that to happen. It'd be like dom, 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 <laughs> dom, because I love it, <laughs> and everybody else love it. <laughs> It'll be dumb, honey. I, 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 you know, they gotta keep it coming. They have to keep it coming. Bahamas would be like without Kong. Well, you know, Kong, Kong is a six year product for the Bahamas. And yeah, that, that is something that everybody comes in to, to, to and want, 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 want to eat. So, the Bahamas, the Bahamas would not be there, should be like how it is now. If, if, uh, if, Kong, if, Kong, if Kong is a disappear. Uh, what will be, what do you think the Bahamas would be like without Kong? Well, they say that the Kong puts pep in his step and glides his drive, so I'd say no more children. <laughs>